guys welcome back to crafting princesses today we will be making felt hair bows in our first episode of the felt series here is a finished felt bow which measures at five and a half inches long today we will be making a four inch long hair bow you will need a strip of felt which is two inches wide and seven inches in length the end result will be four inches in length you will also need another strip of felt, either the same color or a different color or pattern, half an inch wide and two to three inches long. We will be cutting off the excess. You'll also need your scissors, embroidery thread. Today I'll be using a French barrette and I've removed the middle piece and your glue gun. Let's get started. You'll first place a strip of glue on one end of your felt strip and then you will want to fold over the opposite end to create a circle. So at this point you should have a circle. You'll want to flip that over with the seam on the back. That will be the middle. And now we'll create the crease. Fold down, then fold up. Pinch it in the middle, hold that pretty tight. You'll want to find your center. Make sure that both sides are even. Then you'll take your embroidery thread and wrap that around a few times to tie it off. And then you'll tie it off in the back. Okay guys, so now you're here, you have your bow. Next step will be to cover that bow and attach it to our French barrette. I've already removed the middle piece of the barrette, which is fairly easy to take in and out. So you'll want to take that out so that it's easier to attach. Place a strip of glue on top of the barrette, and then we will be attaching that to the back of the bow. Okay, so you want to hold that down on the back of the bow. Hold it down for a few seconds, make sure that it is secure. We will now attach our other strip of felt to cover that. Don't mind that little cut right there, I accidentally cut that with my scissors as I was cutting my strip. So I'm going to place some glue on the back of the barrette. And attach one end of my felt strip. Hold that down for a few seconds. Then flip your bow over and place some glue along the middle of the front. Pull tightly with your strip of felt and press down. And then last, you'll, pay, you'll place a dot of glue on the back and attach the other end. Now forewarning, be careful with your hot glue gun because the felt is very thin, so you can burn your fingers. Cut off any excess. Felt typically will not fray, so heat sealing is not necessary, but I like the hard edge that it gives it, so I am going to heat seal that end of my felt. And then at this point, you can replace that middle piece of your French barrette. Don't forget that, it is a necessity. Okay, so now you're here. I've attached our French barrette. You could consider yourself done at this point. I'm gonna add a little bling bling to my bow. So I'm gonna attach just three rhinestones, a larger one in the top corner and two smaller ones underneath. Place a tiny bit of glue. I accidentally put a little too much there and apply your rhinestone on top. Again, I get all of my rhinestones in the dollar bins at Michael's. They are perfect, inexpensive, and work great. Okay, so I've applied all three of my rhinestones. I'm now just removing any excess strings of glue that there may be, and I'm all done. Perfect for back to school. You can apply to a headband or wear all on its own. Until next time, bye guys.